So the Chinese Garden of Friendship is located on the southern end of Darling Harbour, and it's actually a collaborative effort between the sister states of New South Wales and Guangdong in China. And of course, the main attraction for me this time anyway is the Gardens by Lotus restaurant, which is where this view I'm sitting right here is coming from. Hi guys, this is Stella Bella. Hi everyone, welcome back to the Hubian Talent Channel. This is Stella Bella. Today I'm sharing with you a quick little tour of the Chinese Garden of Friendship, which is this amazing place I visited when I was in Sydney. I've been there a few times already, but this time I was able to enjoy an amazing dining experience at their restaurant or the connected restaurant, which is called the Gardens by Lotus. And it was absolutely amazing. I didn't even know there was a restaurant on site until this time that I went and I've been there a few times now. So I wanted to share that with you and we'll get right into it. So the Chinese Garden of Friendship is located on the southern end of Darling Harbour and it's actually a collaborative effort between the sister states of New South Wales and Guangdong in China. It opened in 1988 and the entire landscape was modelled after the ancient private gardens in China from the 5th century. So what you're seeing here really is a piece of history. The garden was designed by Chinese landscape architects and built by Australian craftsmen and specialists and it follows the Taoist principles of yin and yang which is all about opposing yet complementary and balanced forces and you absolutely see it when you're in the gardens. You can see just how balanced, tranquil and peaceful the entire gardens is. Unlike Western style gardens, there's no formally laid out flower beds or manicured lawns. Everything is designed in a very natural, wild but balanced sort of way with no human influence whatsoever. Now, not only is this a beautiful place just for casual visits, but they also have a lot of activities for the community. For example, they have relaxing Tai Chi sessions held regularly, fish feeding for the koi fish ponds, and all of the water here is filled with beautiful, magnificent koi fish. And they've grown to be quite big as well. So you can see this is really a nice environment for them to grow in. There's holiday activities for the children where they get to learn about plants, animals and the culture of the garden. You can organize tours and learn about the history, the landscape and the cultural heritage of the Chinese garden. And you can also hold weddings and functions and parties as well as filming and photography sessions at the gardens as well. And to be honest, this would be a magnificent place to have a wedding because it is absolutely beautiful. And of course, the main attraction for me this time anyway, is the Gardens by Lotus restaurant, which is where this view I'm sitting right here is coming from. So the Gardens by Lotus is a heritage listed tea house connecting right to the Chinese Garden of Friendship. I was lucky enough to have a table that was right by the pond, which meant it felt like I was literally sitting on top of the water. I was so close to the koi as you can see here and enjoyed a delicious lunch. And what I love about this and the entire gardens as well is that not only are you right by nature and right next to the goldfish, they have all of these giant lizards, iguanas that just hang around the entire gardens. And there was one that I made friends with that sat right next to my table for most of my meal. Gardens by Lotus serves the signature dumpling selection from Wednesday to Friday and a bottomless yum cha lunch on weekends. They also do these amazing banquet selections for two. That is what I ordered this time. So this was the golden banquet, which meant more food, which as you all know, I love and is perfect for me. And the price point, although not the cheapest thing, it's not that expensive either. So upon arrival, I got a glass of champagne. The entree were fresh Pacific oysters and okra. Tea, drinks you have to order separately. The banquet also came with these delicious dumplings, fried squid, 
Peking duck pancakes and it came with I think five or six they were quite generous with that there were vegetables snow pea stir fried beef fruit rice I was actually quite surprised at how substantial it was and I was so full by the end I didn't even finish the fruit platter all the food was delicious amazing quality very well cooked great flavors and although everything were in small portions there was such a large variety that you didn't get bored and you're able to taste all of the different flavors of the east now normally entrance to the chinese gardens itself is around 12 dollars, or you can get an annual pass but if you dine in the gardens by lotus restaurant it is free entry and you can literally just finish your meal pay for it and walk right out the back door which leads you to this beautiful scenery and here's that iguana that I was talking about. There are so many of them all around. And I just love seeing how close to nature we can actually be in a place like this. And it's so safe and secure for yourselves and the animals around you. The fact that they feel so comfortable being so close means that previous patrons who have entered the gardens have just been so respectful of the grounds, so respectful of the plants and the environment that they're in. And that's a nice feeling, having that mutual respect between humans and their environment. And as with all Asian, Chinese or Eastern style structures, you tend to see a lot of temple-like structures. There's also a lot of waterfalls, rocks, steps, which you do have to be careful because a lot of the stairs are made from just big, huge rocks. And I always wondered if it was an elderly person, it might be a little bit difficult for them to travel here by themselves and go for a little walk. So if you are an elderly person or if you have some mobility issues, it is recommended that you bring along a companion just to assist you wherever you need. There's also a cute little museum type thing that's situated right in the middle of the Chinese gardens. And it has some artifacts, but it does have some information on some Chinese history, culture, and a little cabinet showcase of artifacts to illustrate that, which I think is a cute little addition to what already is amazing. And this pretty much wraps up my day in the Chinese garden of friendship. I highly recommend if you can afford it and if you have the free time to get yourself an annual membership to the Chinese gardens because it is somewhere that you want to visit time and time again. There are places where you can sit and just relax, switch off, zone out and just be at one with the environment. It's such an amazing and tranquil and balanced place and I think it helps a lot of us get some mental clarity back as well. I mean look at that, look at that scenery. That is so beautiful and it's not something that you can get in the hustle and bustle of every day. So I highly recommend. Thank you so much for watching today and I hope you've all subscribed, liked and followed us on social media. We are on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok and Facebook under Hubiant. Make sure you click all those buttons so you stay notified of when we release new content. And please make sure to follow me on social media as well. I'm under stellabella.au and I'm on Instagram, Facebook and TikTok. And I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks once again. Have a wonderful, balanced and tranquil week. And I look forward to speaking with you next time. Bye. Here's why you need Deskin. Have you ever had an urgent business presentation, but you rushed to the office without realizing you forgot the copy at your home computer? No need to worry about traveling back home or asking someone else to get it for you. Deskin's got you. Deskin have a feature to control and access your computer at home remotely through your smartphone. All you have to do is download Deskin to your computer and your smartphone. Deskin supports both Android and iOS, so it suits whatever platform you are using. Once Deskin is installed, you just need to create and set up an account. When you're done, just access the remote feature on your account and set up your mobile to connect to your computer remotely, so you can access it anytime. With Deskin, you don't need to worry about forgetting to send a copy of your file or presentation to your email. You now can access your computer anywhere, anytime. Subscribe and get access now. From now until the 1st of January, we will be giving out 10% discount. Make sure to check out the link in the description and use code HUBDESK to get your 10% discount now.